Good morning. Last class uh, we have uh, discussed about uh, Damjano rearrangement. And uh, next rearrangement is Dianone Phenol rearrangement. What is that? Dianone. Dianone Phenol. Phenol rearrangement. In dianone phenol rearrangement, this is a type of uh, carbon to carbon migration happening in aldehydes and ketones. Now, look at what, what is di dianone phenol rearrangement. When, when cyclohexadienone derivatives having having when cyclohexadienone der derivatives having two alkyl groups alkyl groups present present at the fourth position fourth position will undergo will undergo one to alkyl shift alkyl shift when treated with treated with with dilute acid dilute acid to give to give phenol to give phenol this rearrangement is known as a dianone phenol rearrangement so what is a dianone phenol rearrangement when cyclohexadienone derivatives having two, two alkyl groups present at the fourth position will undergo one to alkyl shift when treated with when when treated with dilute acid to give phenol to give phenol this type of rearrangement is known as a dianone phenol rearrangement so let us go through the mechanism of uh, dianone phenol rearrangement. So, so, so keep it in mind cyclohexadienone having two alkyl groups at the fourth position is treated with uh, dilute acid. And uh, then we will get rearranged product. Uh, it, is a, an, uh, it is a phenol. Okay, this rearrangement is known as a dianone phenol rearrangement. So let us go through the mechanism of uh, dianone phenol rearrangement. So what is that uh, dianone phenol rearrangement? Cyclohexadienone derivatives having two alkyl groups at the fourth position. How will you write? So this look at it here. Cyclohexadienone. This is cyclohexadienone. Two alkyl groups at the fourth position. One, two, three, four. The fourth position there are two alkyl groups or you can write it as R. So this is uh, cyclohexadienone. Cy dienone. Cyclohexadienone having two alkyl groups at the fourth position when treated with the dilute acid will undergo one to alkyl shift one to alkyl shift and you will give uh, phenol okay and uh, what, what is the product okay, let us see what is the mechanism of the reaction what is the mechanism of the reaction okay uh, once again i will write so dianone phenol rearrangement so here is a uh, dianone okay once again again writing okay here are two alkyl groups is treated with uh, dilute acid so let us see what is the product and what is the mechanism simple mechanism okay dianone two alkyl groups at the fourth position you can see that treated with the dilute acid as you know very well this lone pair will attack on this uh, proton and you get a structure like this here it is okay okay here it is a double bond OH and the oxygen is getting a positive charge and here is your alkyl group R R. First step is very simple and in the next step you can see that for stability this bond is uh, migrating here and you get a structure like this look at it here here and here it is uh, OH since the bond is breaking from here here is a positive charge there is double bond double bond R R okay then again for stability that you these all steps are very easy for you this bond is uh, shifting to here and you get a structure like this here okay 
and here is OH and here comes a bond here is bond and here is R R and here is a uh, positive since the bond is breaking from here here is a positive charge actually this is what type of a carbocation this is a secondary secondary carbocation carbocation secondary carbocation now you can see that uh, okay what is the next step you can see that uh, since this is a secondary carbocation you can see that one of the alkyl groups one of the alkyl groups say i can say this one this alkyl group uh, that means uh, this breaks uh, this alkyl group is breaking from this carbon this carbon and it is migrating to here okay and you get the next structure like this here it is okay correct and here is a oh here is bond and here is bond and here is now only one r since this r is breaking from here here is a positive charge this carbon is having a positive charge and here is a, correct Okay, this bond breaks from here, leaving a positive charge and it is migrating to this carbon and now you are getting the, what type of carbocation? This is a tertiary carbocation, carbocation and this tertiary carbocation will be immediately you can see that here is a hydrogen atom or you can write it, okay, here is a hydrogen atom, this uh, hydrogen, uh, okay and uh, immediately stabilized uh, minus H plus, minus H plus eliminating a proton and uh, you get a compound like this here is double bond here is double bond double bond here is a OH and R this type of rearrangement is known as uh, dynon phenol rearrangement okay once again the mechanism uh, the lone pair is attacking on this uh, proton and uh, you can see that uh, OH plus the bond breaks here leaving a positive charge for stability the bond is shifting and you get a secondary carbocation and immediately you can see that uh, uh, in order to form more stable carbocation one of the alkyl groups is shifting to here and here is a positive charge then it is stabilized by uh, removal of a proton and you can see that uh, you are getting this one that means uh, when uh, cyclohexa dynon uh, derivatives having two alkyl groups at the fourth position when treated with uh, dilute acid will undergo rearrangement will undergo one two alkyl shift one two alkyl shift and you get and we get uh, phenol we get uh, phenol okay and uh, this is the product okay here here one two alkyl shift and we get uh, uh, phenol okay uh, this rearrangement is known as uh, dynon phenol rearrangement oh okay let me know what is the driving force uh, 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 for dynon phenol rearrangement you can see that uh, by dynon phenol rearrangement the compound is uh, changing to uh, aromatic system the compound is changing to more stable aromatic uh, compound this is a driving force for this uh, uh, dynon phenol rearrangement so formation of a stable aromatic system okay so you can see that uh, this compound is converted to an aromatic compound this is a driving force uh, for the reaction that means uh, dynon phenol rearrangement another example okay we can take a particular example this was a common example this was for showing uh, a mechanism of a dynon phenol rearrangement another uh, example let us see Suppose uh, you are having a compound like this, actually you can do it yourself, uh, uh, don't wait for my explanation, you only look at the, the compound which I am uh, writing, then try to do yourself, anyway, uh, look at the compound. Okay. So, Suppose for examination, if, uh, suppose this is the question, then how will you know whether this uh, rearrangement is dynon phenol rearrangement, how will you know the, so uh, uh, how will you find out the, this mechanism is uh, dynon phenol rearrangement, so you look at the, uh, react, uh, uh, the, uh, the reactive molecule and the reagent which we are using, you can see that the compound is, uh, look at the compound, in this way only you can identify which is the mechanism operating in this uh, rearrangement okay so look at here you can see that uh, this is a uh, cyclohexa cyclohexa dienon with uh, two instead of two alkyl groups you can see that uh, there are two bonds correct you can see that uh, the bonds are here this is a uh, fourth position there are two bonds 
the remaining part is the cyclohexadienone and the cyclohexadienone is treated with the dilute acid definitely the mechanism is a dienone phenol rearrangement so when you look at the reagent and the compound reacting uh, reactant then only you can identify uh, 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 what is the mechanism in that reaction okay now let us see the mechanism okay as we have discussed earlier again the same mechanism okay here it is like this double bond o o and you can see that uh, the lone pair is attacking on H plus and you get uh, H plus with a positive charge. Okay, or it's getting a positive charge. Now you can see that uh, for stability, uh, you get the compound like the structure will be like this. Again, here it is. Okay, 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 okay. Here it is. OH, OH, okay. And uh, OH and here is a positive charge. You have the, this bond is here, this bond is here. Correct? Again, what is happening? This bond, this bond uh, is uh, shifting to here, and you get uh, next structure like this. Okay, you have no no change, and you get uh, structure like this. Okay. Okay, you get uh, structure like this. Okay, uh, right, and the bond is shifting to here, and here it is uh, OH. Here is a double bond and here is double bond. Now the bond is breaking from here. Here is a positive charge. Okay. Now what is the next step? Uh, in the previous case, uh, here it was R. Then what is happening? The alkyl group is migrated to here. Here it, instead of a 1 to alkyl shift, 1 to alkyl shift, what we are happening here? 1 to bond shift, 1 to bond shift. Okay. 1 to bond shift. That means that this bond breaks from this carbon, this carbon, and it is joining to here. Clear? This bond breaks from uh, this carbon, and it is joining to here. And uh, after that, uh, you get, you are getting a structure like this. Okay, uh, okay. And here is double bond, or double bond, and here is OH. And you can see that uh, since the bond is breaking from this carbon, this carbon is getting a positive charge. And this is a tertiary carbocation. Tertiary carbo cation and in the next step what we have discussed here it is uh, H is here okay the bond is uh, shifting to here so what is that uh, minus H plus you get a compound like this okay okay here is all this bond is here this bond and a new bond is formed here and uh, here is uh, OH and uh, this is the mechanism of uh, dienone phenol rearrangement so uh, for examination, how will you know that uh, whether this is dienone phenol rearrangement or uh, um, you know, Wagner Mirwin rearrangement? So uh, you have to uh, listen or you have to observe very carefully the reactant and the uh, reagent which you are using. Okay, so if it is cyclohexadienone and uh, dilute acid, definitely the mechanism will be dienone phenol rearrangement. Okay, uh, that's all about. Uh, uh, dynol phenol rearrangement and uh, wait for the next video. Thank you.